hello guys welcome back uh, this is continuation of april 2023 checkpoint paper for year 9 so in the previous video we did question 1 to 13 in this video we will cover the remaining questions i hope you guys are getting benefit of these videos if you have any benefit from these videos in one way or the other please subscribe to the channel and press the like button if you really like the videos and let me know in the comment section uh, if there is anything to improve so let's start so the first uh, question number 14 here the uh, first part write down the value of we have 7 over 3 times 5 times 3 over 7 so this 5 is alone so that means this is 5 over 1 so this is numerator and this is denominator i'm just writing it again 7 over 3 times 5 over 1 times 3 over 7 so now you see we can cancel the numerator and denominator this 3 and 3 gets cancel 7 and 7 so we are left with the only 5 so 5 is going to be the final answer right now the next one uh, calculate 9 over 10 divided by 2 to the power 5 so 9 over 10 we will write as it is divided by this is 2 times 5 10 plus 2 is 12 that is 12 over 5 right so this is 9 over 10 times now change this division sign to multiplication and then this will become the reciprocal that means you swap numerator and denominator 5 over 12 right this was 12 over 5 now it's 5 over 12 so now we can simplify this goes with 5 5 times 1 and 5 times 2 then this is divisible by 3 3 times 3 9 3 times 4 so we have 3 times 1 that is 3 2 times 4 that is 8 so final answer is 3 over 8 make sure that you write your answer in the space provided sometimes students they do calculation here but they don't write answer here make sure that you write it here so this video is going to be very useful for you because i'm going to tell you the tricks uh, of some questions that are like very easy to score so you should not miss those questions you must do each and every question some questions they don't even need your maths knowledge they just need your general knowledge if you read the question carefully now number 15 the internal storage is of three games consoles are uh, 500000 mb 32 gb and 1 tb so you know that 1 terabyte is equal to 1000 gbs right so this is 1 tb so now you can see which one is the uh, the smallest one the largest one is going to be this one this is 32 gb 32 GB means this is going to be 32,000 MBs and 1 GB you know that 1 GB is equal to 1,000 MB right so we have different units MB GB and TB so we can make it same so this is 1 TB and this is 32 uh, it's hard to convert to this one we can convert into mbs this is mb so this gb uh, when you convert this times 1000 so that will become 32000 mbs and this when you multiply it by terabyte it will become 1000 gb when you multiply here again multiply one 1000 will give you mbs right so this will become 1 2 3 1 2 3 I'm sorry MBs so this is the biggest one 1 TB then we have here 500,000 MB 32 GB right so next question let's see number 16 here we have questions from Uh, the transformations so the diagram shows a triangle t drawn on a grid you can see this triangle t here uh, 
the coordinate grid is there a triangle t is rotated by 180 about center 0 0 so this is rotated 180 and the new triangle is then rotated by 180 about center 0 3 those both the centers are marked with uh, cross here to give a triangle u draw the position of the triangle u on the grid now first we will do the first thing one thing at a time so let just use the tracing paper the easiest method so trace this triangle this is t here so now we have the this one here uh, the center the first center is 0 0 0 0 is here so we are going to rotate it 180 so it doesn't matter when it is angle is 180 does not matter you are going to rotate it clockwise or anti-clockwise so let me do it this way so this is at 90 you see one rotation 90 degree another rotation is 180 degrees right so you see your triangle is here so press hard so that you can get the points it's here this one is here and another one is here so now let's join it to make a triangle i'm making it uh, dotted because you know we have to rotate it once again with another condition which is given to us so we are done with this now here the triangle t is rotated 180 about center uh, o now new triangle this new triangle is then rotated by 180 about center 0 negative 3 now we need to put this now the center is this one right so we will put our uh, pencil here then we are going to rotate it again 180 so we will rotate it twice 90 then this came here 180 right so you see the point is here here and here this one this and this here now just join to get the new triangle make sure that you use your sharp pencil to look the diagram nice so this one is uh, we need to name it u because draw the position of this is this to give triangle u so this is the triangle u that we are getting here right so that's it uh, for this question uh, part a part b draw a ring around uh, the type of transformation that maps triangle t onto triangle u so we have here translation reflection rotation and enlargement so it's not enlargement size is same uh, rotation now we are talking about from t to u from here to here you can see from t to u it's the movement so triangle is moved down you can see so that is the translation so we are going to put ring on translation right now number 17 the table shows the information about the masses of 70 boxes right uh, here are the masses then we have frequency draw a ring around the interval that contains the median so now the median so we have 70 boxes right 70 divided by 2 is 35 so median should go in the 30 uh, the frequency of 35 so when you add this 10 plus 7 is 17 so 17 plus 7 uh, sorry we should write it down actually 10 plus 7 is 17 then 17 plus 30 uh, 13 it will become 30 then the next one will be 35 so 35 is going to come in this range so this is going to be our answer 22 22 but you need to put a ring around here so this will the median in this uh, class interval now draw a frequency polygon to show the information in the table so the frequency table there are uh, uh, two scales here i mean uh, two axes here uh, x axis along x axis we have mass and frequency is here so for that uh, we are going to have uh, 
the graphs of the midpoint usually we take the midpoint so now the easiest way let me tell you uh, first you draw the bar graph 14 to 16 is 10 14 to 16 is here and it is 10 so like here this is 14 to 16 the frequency was 10 the next one 16 to 18 is 7 16 to 18 is here 7 will come in the middle here right then 18 to 20 is 13 18 to 20 is here 13 13 is in the middle higher somewhere right then we have uh, 13 18 to 20 we are done now this one is 20 20 next is 20 and 20 20 is up to here there are two intervals for having this 20 20 right now uh, for the frequency polygon we need to take the midpoint of this this is the midpoint here midpoint of this graph here and here now you just join these with the lines so there are two methods either you make a bar graphs and take the middle point or you just find out midpoint first so it's done right so either you take midpoint of this that 14 plus 16 then it will come in the middle that will be 15th value then you take the values otherwise you can just draw it like this the bar chart and then take the middle value right so you see this is three marks question it's not that hard so just need to follow the instructions whatever is given to you right okay before we move to next question if you are getting all these questions and you like it please press the right like button right now and please subscribe to the channel now number 18 the nth term of the sequence is n squared plus 5 find the seventh term of the sequence so this is nth term so nth term means this is t n that is n squared plus 5 right so we are looking for 7 so we're just going to replace n by 7 so this is 7 squared plus 5 7 squared is 49 plus 5 that is 54 so 54 will go here here are first five terms of a different sequence another sequence it's not this one another sequence uh, find the expression for the nth term of the sequence so first we need to see uh, the common difference we are adding here 3 then we are adding 5 then we are adding here 7 then you add here 9 so you see the common difference is not same so for these kind of questions then you need to see let me tell you it's bit different previously it was in IGCSE syllabus now these have been moved to uh, 3 5 7 and 9 right so then again you see now the common difference is same in the second step so then we took like n n should be in the nth term so we always take n then because it's there are two steps one two so you put n squared right n squared now for n squared we need to then check by trial and error method so if we put n1 it becomes 1 but we need 0 so if n is t1 we will put 1 square minus 1 that will give you 0 right so if we take minus 1 here and t2 will be 2 square 2 square is 4 4 minus 1 is 3 so it's working for 3 3 squared is 9 9 minus 1 is 8 so then that means tn will be n squared minus 1 so uh, sorry just write here n squared minus 1 right now question number 9 uh, 19 
uh, find the coordinates of two points on the line y equals to 5 minus 3x which have negative x coordinate and y coordinate is multiple of 4. So we have y is equal to 5 minus 3x right negative x coordinate now we are not uh, given that what coordinate we can choose any so let's say x is negative 1 so if i choose ne x negative 1 so this will be negative 3 minus 1 so 5 plus 3 is 8 right so we got the uh, coordinates x is negative 1 y is 8 right so another one is uh, we can take let's say uh, x uh, we can take no what oh, this was a negative x now y coordinate which is multiple of 4 multiple of 4 is it may be 4 8 12 or something right we can take any so y is equal to 5 minus 3x let me choose 8 or let me choose 12 so if y is 12 then 5 minus 3x so 12 minus 5 minus 3x this is 7 minus 3x divide by 3 divide by 3 so x is equal to negative 7 over 3 right so then we can have here uh, when y is 12 this is negative 7 over 3 so you may have different answers depending upon the values of x and y that 